What is happening guys? My name is Mike. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Today I have a very special episode of Modern Man TV planned for you. I have been working on this video for weeks and I'm very glad to finally be done with part one. I recently noticed that there is a ton of awesome things going on right now in the area of styling clays. And when it comes to a lot of product lines, there are a lot of things that can be the same, like oil-based pomades or water-based pomades, unorthodox water-based pomades. But what I also noticed about the styling clays was that a lot of brewers or a lot of lines even had their own kind of way of making a clay or making a clay pomade. So then the question became to me, and I'm sure a lot of you share this, which one is right for me? Which one do I buy? Today's video is hopefully going to help you answer some of those questions. This is Clay Catalog. Part one. All right, I hope this video is going to help some of you. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy checking out these clays with me. Let's get started. I have a lot of clays to show you, starting with the Third & Co Texturizing Clay. The texturizing clay from Third & Co was the most requested clay for this video. This water-based clay pomade contains three types of clay and features a low to natural shine with a medium to firm hold. Coming out of the jar is definitely thick with visible texture. The only thing I really found to be something I didn't like about this clay was the breakdown. I found the breakdown to be tough and the initial application into my hair to be a bit of a struggle. But even with that, I was very impressed with the outcome and the style I achieved with this clay. This clay is priced at $18.99 for three ounces. Next up is Damon Barber number four. This is a water soluble styling clay that is also made from a blend of different clays. I found that this clay was actually a little tough to use in damp hair, and it didn't offer much at all towards styling, but in dry hair, it allowed me a great amount of volume and texture with a strong hold. This clay is $24.95 US for 3.53 ounces. Next up is American Gardens from Sheer Revival. This was the first clay pomade I tried that was a blend of an oil-based pomade and a clay pomade. This product is made with kaolin clay and allows for a light to medium hold with easy restyling. One thing I really liked about this clay was even though that it's advertised as an oil-based clay, it still washes out very easily. It's also priced very well at $17 for four ounces. Sheer Revival also recently came out with another oil-based clay. And even though it's not available for purchase anymore, I thought it was still worth showing. I am of course talking about Cellar Door. I found Cellar Door to be very pleasing to style with. It goes in nice and slick with just enough thickness and grip to create any type of style you want. I did notice for me that it wasn't as restyling friendly as American Gardens due to it hardening up a little throughout the day. Let's move on to the Lockhart's Matte Clay. This is truly a happy medium for me. It isn't too dry in the hair and it definitely isn't greasy. It features a medium to firm hold and you guessed it, a matte finish. I do also think this clay is priced very well at $18.45 for 3.7 ounces. Next we have the clay pomade from Baxter of California. I was very surprised to see that this was actually an oil-based clay. I found this to work better for me in damp hair versus dry, and it featured a nice firm hold and matte finish. It does have a dry feel to it when it's going in the hair, but I was happy to find that there was no tug and pull. I also think this clay might be a little bit on the pricey side at $22 for two ounces. Last but not least is the Anchors Courage Clay. This is a handcrafted vegan clay that is advertised as a strong hold with low to no shine. I actually found that this clay was slick and creamy when applying to the hair and actually gave my hair a fair amount of shine compared to the other clays I tested. I think this product would be good for longer contour type styles and even shorter textured looks. I think this clay is very fairly priced at $12 for two ounces. All right, that's it for part one. I will have part two ready and uploaded very soon, and it will feature five more clays, including the Rough Rider from Kevin Murphy that was requested by a viewer, and the all new Arcadian clay pomade that's receiving a ton of buzz on Facebook right now. I do wanna thank you for checking out this video and stopping by my channel. If there's some additional clays that I haven't yet got to or covered, drop them in the comment section down below and I'd be happy to check them out or feature them in the future. All the links for the clays showcased today will be in the description down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out my other social media accounts so you can be notified right away when part two is ready to go. Thanks again for stopping by the channel. I'll see you guys next time.